for us, obviously, touch is a love language in a romantic partnership. I'm not going to go into my business environment and say, all right, touch me all of the time, because that's going to get a little bit weird, right? There are laws around that. There are. (laughs) (laughs) Most everywhere. But it doesn't mean that my love language changes. It just means we drop down to number two, right? And so we're going to honor that priority order. It's still important to understand the love language of the people around you in that kind of an order. So maybe we drop down instead, even number three, like quality time would be a wonderful way if you're in a business environment to show like, hey, I love and respect you. And so when I'm in a meeting with you, I'm going to give you my full attention. I'm not going to be on my phone and on my computer and answering a million email messages unless, of course, I have no other option and I've communicated that to you. But I'm going to set up meetings where you and I have quality one-on-one time. And that is my way of showing you that I love you and see you and honor you as the person that you are. Mm -hmm. And that's how love languages can be used in a place of business as well. Same with acts of service, you know, just even being able, some, if a coworker says, wow, you know, one of my, uh, you know, a family member passed away or, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going through a really difficult time right now, you know, X, Y, and Z occurred, you know, say, like, hey, I would be happy to pick up these shifts so that you can take up, you know, time with your family or do what you need to do or, or get that, you know, get that time that you need. Um, so there are, there are ways in terms of acts of service that we could, or like, Hey, let me, let me take on this, a little bit of this project. And, and that way it frees you up so you can spend some time with your family because you've been working so hard and you're you're spending time with your kids is really important, you know? And I, I mean, there's, there's little things like that, that we can do in, in, in work environments that can really support and, and connect in that way. Yes. Words of affirmation. Huge. Right? Yes. In a work environment. Mm -hmm. So if we can just share even a little bit or cue in Mm -hmm. like I do with my friends, if I see that one of our team members consistently shares words of affirmation, then it's probably a high likelihood that words of affirmation are important to them. So share words of affirmation back. Let them know how you see their progress is going. Mm -hmm. Or in the kindest, most loving way, if there are areas for improvement, don't just tell them about the area for improvement. Also share with them potential ways that you see they could take classes or go do something. Mm -hmm. So opportunity for improvement opportunity to gain that improvement Mm -hmm. right so that you're not just leaving them hanging with i see a gap but i offer you no solution right right yeah like hey you do x y and z phenomenal if you can uh improve this area and add that to the mix like you're going to be unstoppable with the way that you're approaching this it's like oh okay well now you're not just focusing on what i'm doing wrong it's your really helping me understand how I can grow as a person. And you're seeing me, the effort that I'm putting in, and it just makes all the difference. 